All right, in this video, what I'd like to show you how to do is how to add an add on, add an add on instruction into RS Logix 5000. So here I have an AOI, a really simple scale to parameter instruction that I want to add into my RS Logix 5000. This can take a little bit, so I will fast forward a little bit as we go through, but it's really simple to do. So the first thing I want you to notice is I'm in my add on folder over here and it's blank. It just has some basic things here. So what I want to do is I'm going to go over to the add-on instructions and right click. And I want to make sure that I hit import add-on instructions and I'm going to click on this. And this is what can take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead while it uh, boots up. Okay, once uh, your search box uh, opens up, you just need to go find it. I'm going to be using, I left it on the desktop so you can see it right here. And you'll notice that it actually pops up as a known quantity. It's not an unknown file because it knows that it's looking for this logic to design XML file. So I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to select import and let this boot up. Now um, there are some, there are a little couple things you can tweak in here if you want to. I like to just keep everything as is with the scale width parameter for the description. If you wanted to make that something a little larger, uh, more descriptive, you could. Um, this is from Rockwell Automation. This is something that I downloaded from them. So I'll just come over here and I will hit OK. It's going to import this and this just takes a quick second. Now a couple of things that I want you to notice. Uh, first of all, it is in the um, add-on section here. Now I'm using this for a scale with parameter, okay? But you could use this on any add-on instruction you wanted to especially on the AOIs. There's a lot of those out there that you can get. And this is where it is. Now, a lot of people will get distracted the first time because they can see it, but they're trying to click on it and nothing will happen. If you want to grab it, you have to click on your workspace and then this will go ahead and uh, be available to you. In another video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually program a uh, this type of kind of sim simplified uh, AO. I, uh, instruction. All right, so I hope this helped you. It's a pretty simple step, so it's a quick video. Anyway, thanks for watching.